Now, Yom HaZikaron, or Israeli Memorial Day, continuing this morning until sundown. Israelis across the country commemorating the fallen with nationwide events and sirens. Annual memorial sirens sounding across the country last night at 8 p.m. and again this morning at 11. Millions stopping in their tracks to stand in silent observance and reflection on behalf of the nearly 24,000 Israelis who've died in battle since 1947, as well as for police officers who've fallen on duty and for victims of terror. The annual ceremonies, including musical performances, speeches by Israeli heads of state, family storytellings of their loved ones lost, a display of all the names of the fallen, and more. Coronavirus masks in the crowds, leaving only the teary eyes of the hundreds in attendance visible. מאיתנו ומהנכדים, אתה מסתכל פנימה, אתה אומר, וואי, למה לא הערכתי את זה כשהייתי, כשאימא כן הייתה איתנו, אתה אומר, איזה עצוב זה שזה לא יהיה ככה יותר. Likewise, earlier in the day, Prime Minister Netanyahu and wife Sara meeting with the torch bears for Wednesday morning ceremonies, as well as with IDF widows and orphans sharing stories and messages of support and of hope. ואני כבר אומר לכם, זה יחיה בלב שלכם עד... יומכם האחרון. זה לא עוזר. ולא צריך לעזוב. נכון. לא צריך לעזוב. הפוך. הפוך. אבא חי בתוככם. חי בתוככם. ממה שהכרתם, או מה שלמדתם אחר כך מאימא, מדודים, ממשפחה. אבא חי בתוככם. Then the central ceremony taking place this morning at the National Memorial Hall for the Fallen at Mount Herzl Military Cemetery in Jerusalem. This followed by fighter jet flyovers and waves of bereaved families visiting military cemeteries. And finally at sundown tonight, a gear shift from Israel's saddest day to the happiest day, Independence Day, a nationwide practice in gratitude and in remembering what the fallen fought for.